A good Thursday morning, 15th of September. It is Caleb Ministries. We are still in Isaiah 61. Today is verse 3. And I read, To all the morn in Israel, he will give a crown of beauty for ashes, a joyous blessing instead of mourning, festive praise instead of despair. In their righteousness, they will be like great oaks that the Lord has planted for His glory. Our heading, though, is a time to learn. Now, our first bullet is the common human feeling. Well, it's despair, and despair is a common human thing. It isn't, however, part of our original design. Neither is it part of our redemption. Because we are clothed in joy instead of mourning, beauty instead of ashes, praise instead of despair. Though we may dread many of the problems or people we face, we aren't meant to. Though we lose hope in many of the trials of our lives, we aren't intended to. Though we forget that God sees the end of a situation even where no end is in sight, we aren't supposed to. Despair is supposed to be foreign to a relationship with Him, in a relationship with Him. Our second bullet, the result of being in close fellowship with Him. While the church wallows in low expectations and defers hope into the far too distant future, God's Spirit fills us with hope and expectation in His goodness now, today. He, he reminds us of His benefits, His promises, and His presence. Despair cannot thrive even or even survive when we are in close fellowship with Him and are seeing Him well. Our third bullet, and this is our application, Cultivate fellowship with the Lord. Learn to see despair and its related emotions, discouragement and dread as symptoms of distance from God. His presence is a powerful Im I immune system against poisonous thoughts of hopelessness. And hopeless thoughts are a weapon of the adversary to blind us to His presence. Cultivate fellowship with God and choose hope. God's purpose are good enough to fill us with joy and leave no room for despair. I pray. Lord, I lose hope far too easily, which means I lose sight of you far too easily. Give me the joy of your presence and the hope of all your promises. In Jesus' name, Amen.